I like to be preacher also. That is biblical. The Bible says, covet to prophesy. I want to preach also like that guy. Divari uh, ba? Did you read it? Where's the reference? 1 Corinthians 14, verse 39. You can covet to become a preacher. If you want to see, see ah, that guy is good in preaching. I want to be like him also. That is very good. The Bible says, covet to prophesy. And the Bible also says, <clears throat> in verse 1, desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you may prophesy. Okay. Next. How do you know who is true prophet and false prophet? How do you know which money is uh, fake and true? If you know what is true, right? How do they know which part, which, uh, do you know the book, the Bible has 66 books. How do they collect all the books? How do they know? The library has many books. How do they know which book is included, supposed to be included in the Bible? How do they know that Moses is a true prophet of God? How do they know that Abraham is speaking things of God? How do they know that Adam, ah, Adam is real. <laughs> you have no choice. You have to believe whatever the Adam says, right? Because no, nobody else is older than Adam. Adam is the one God created, and Adam talked to God. So what Adam, whatever Adam said <coughs> is probably true. I mean, who else will you ask? Eve. No, no don't believe Eve too much. She's the problem. <laughs> She's the reason why we all fell to sin. <laughs> According to the Bible, it is Eve that sinned. <coughs> anyway, the problem is Adam believed sin, uh, Eve also. So, Anyway, if we want to know God's word, we ask Adam, right? And then Enoch came along. Enoch is also saying what Adam said, according. So Enoch is true prophet because he is telling what Adam was saying. And then also comes Job and Isaiah and Jeremiah and uh, Micah and Malachi and other prophets. How do we know they are true? If they are saying what Moses was saying. How do we know Moses is true? If he is saying what Enoch was saying. Diba kasi sigurado natin si ano, Abraham. When I, I see, ano, si Adam. But Adam only lived 900 something years. So when Adam died, Enoch maybe was still around. Or some other prophets were there. God always provides a prophet for every generation. The Bible says, I have not left without a witness. There is always a prophet. God provides prophet. <clears throat> so, if, if Adam has died and Enoch is around, we are sure what Enoch is saying because we heard what they were saying when Adam was alive. So, when Enoch was taken to heaven, maybe Ezekiel was there or somebody else. How do we know which is two prophet and false prophet? We compare with other prophet. That we are true, that, but that we are sure of. New prophets do not contradict old prophets. Because Jesus himself says, I do not come to destroy the law or the prophets. I come to fulfill. So imagine, Jesus cannot contradict the old prophets. Jesus cannot, he is God, but he cannot contradict. He does not contradict. Because the source of information is God. There is no conflict. So I... Since there is one source of information, whoever the prophet is, they are saying the same thing, right? That's why you will know who is the false prophet, because if it doesn't, if they are not saying according to the old ones, they are not true. Do you understand, sir? You are looking at me as if you understand. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now, how do we know that Serwin is telling the truth? How do you know that Serwin is telling the truth? If I am saying, what is? According. Yeah, that's the key word, according. If I am saying what is according to the Bible, how do you know that the Bible is true? Because the Bible, because everybody believes the Bible, right? Because, uh, yeah, everybody believes the Bible. Everybody thinks the Bible is true. So if I'm saying what the Bible is, how do they know that New Testament is true? Because New Testament is saying what the Old Testament was saying, right? It's just going back, reference, reference. How do I know that you are true prophet? If what you are saying is, 
according to what I am sure is a true word of God. How do we know Ellen White is a true prophet? You read the whole Bible, you read all her writings, and then you will know if she is according. Right? Because Isaiah 8.20, according to the law and the testimony, if they speak not, there is no light. So, the Bible says, in the last days, there will be many false prophets. False prophets, they are not teaching according. But the Bible also says, <clears throat> you have to prophesy. That means we are supposed to be the true prophets. Yan. Law of God, yan. class, law of God. 